one of the requirements for YouTube short video is the 9 by 16 aspect ratio. Unfortunately, the older version of the video editor on my PC does not support this aspect ratio. In this video, I will show you an easy method to create a YouTube short video using any video editor. I will give you a step-by-step -step guide in creating such video using an older Premiere Elements 2018 as an example. After watching this video, if you find it useful, please give me a like or better subscribe to my channel. I appreciate your help. Let's take a look at how to do this. The concept of what I'm doing here is very simple. I will create a full HD video in 16 by 9 aspect ratio and then I will use a format converter to change that to a 9 by 16 format and then upload that to YouTube as a YouTube short video. Practically, you can create a video using any video editor. I use the older version of Premiere Element. I create a frame or a border around the center region of the video. I add that to the timeline. I have a link below and you can download this .pmg file and use it as a frame. And there are many other ways of doing it too. I will then edit the short video within this frame. I place focus in creating the video at the top two third area of the frame because the lower portion will be filled with title and other information generated by YouTube. Here yeah, I use two masks to block off the left and right side of the video to simulate a vertical aspect ratio of the final video. I used the Blender, which is an open source software, to convert the format. And you can search for it and go to their website to download it. To use Blender, I go to File, New, Video Editing. Then you open the, the editor space. Next, I'm going to drop my video onto one of the timeline here. It will start at zero. And take a look at the end of this video. There's a number here, 1790. And here I also changed the number here to 1790. That means the range of the video it will render is from 1 to 1790. Next. I have to change the aspect ratio here. I use 1080. 1080. 1920. I use the scroll wheel on my mouse to zoom in and zoom out the workspace so I can see the vertical aspect ratio here. Here I am changing the default path for the rendered video. I have the output here. Now I have to change the file format. I have to change that to FFmpeg video. Once I have selected that option,
I have to enter other information, just encoding here. Video encoding is H.264. I want to have a high quality encoding. Speed is good. I can change the speed to slower, probably will give me a better encoding. I just do a good here. Next is audio. This is important. You have to select AAC here. Then you have set up all the parameters you want to, or you can change the bit rate here for audio encoding. It's all up to you. Now, to do a transform, as you can see, this is the full HD, almost the full HD aspect ratio here. I have to fill in all the top and bottom. To do that, I will scale X and Y. I have tried to use 1.80 X and then 1.80 Y and it will fill up the whole vertical display. Now I've set up everything I need then I will go and do a render. You have to select render animation. I hit the key and it will go and render the video. Take a look at the video here. Next I'm going to upload that to YouTube. I'll dread this. Now I'm uploading the video. I may add a short here. I can add a short shots here. Or I can add a short down there. I do next. Now I have uploaded the video and we'll go and take a look. This is the converted video I uploaded to YouTube. If you have different suggestions to convert a video to vertical format, please let us know below. If you find this video helpful, please give me a like or subscribe to my channel. I have many other fun projects on my YouTube channel and on my website. Please visit. Thank you and bye-bye.